Chrissy with Everyday Tidbits and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notifications so that you're notified every time I post. And also please like the video and share with your friends. Your support means so much to me. Today is another what's for dinner. I have three delicious recipes for you. The first one is gonna be steak and potatoes and foil packets. The second one is a Spanish chicken and rice in the oven. And then the third one is a crock pot recipe, kielbasa and potatoes with cabbage. You're gonna love all three. Thanks again for joining us and let's get started. For this recipe, you're going to need about a pound to a pound and a half sirloin steak, about a pound to a pound and a half of baby potatoes, I use the Yukon Golds, one onion, a couple of teaspoons of garlic to your liking, a couple tablespoons of butter, one for each packet, some smoked paprika, some onion powder, some olive oil, and some baby carrots. That's it guys. Oops, I almost forgot. You're gonna need the foil wrap to wrap it in. And that's it. The first step is to cut your baby potatoes in half. Cut your onion into thin slices and add that to the bowl with your potatoes. Add a couple of handfuls of your baby carrots also to the bowl with your potatoes and onions. Cut your steak into bite-sized pieces, trimming away any of the extra fat. The next step is to add your garlic. You can use as little or as much as you'd like. I used two tablespoons of minced garlic. Add enough olive oil to the bowl so that you can coat everything evenly when you mix it, and then add your onion powder and your smoked paprika. And then you're gonna to wanna to add just a little bit of salt to your liking. Break off a couple of squares of tin foil and then you're just going to add the mixture to the middle of your tin foil, add a pat of butter on top and then wrap it up tightly and it's ready for the oven.
Bake it in your oven at 425 degrees for 30 minutes. This recipe was so delicious and so simple and it made a lot of food. I actually had to give some away. It was that good. For this recipe, you're going to need chicken thighs, some vegetable oil or olive oil, some uncooked white rice, some chicken broth, one lemon, I actually used two because I'm doubling this recipe, and you'll need some cilantro for garnish. I also used this blend of seasonings and I will link that below so that you know what I used. And to tweak the recipe a little bit, I added black beans and an onion and also some green sliced olives. Let's get started. I started out by adding my chicken to a large Ziploc bag, some olive oil, and my seasoning mix. And then I put it in the refrigerator to marinate for about four hours. For this recipe, I juiced one lemon and then I sliced the other lemon for garnish. And then I went ahead and diced my onion. Preheat a large pan on your stove top and add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Brown your chicken thighs on both sides. This will take about two to three minutes per side and just know that they will not be cooked all the way through. You're going to transfer them to a plate and then they will cook all the way through in your rice in the oven. In a large baking dish, you're going to want to add two cups of rice, four and a half cups of chicken broth, your lemon juice, your black beans rinsed, your onion, and your olives. All 
Also add the rest of your seasoning and then mix it all together before adding your chicken back into the dish. Once everything is mixed well together in your baking dish, you can go ahead and add your chicken. Cover your dish tightly with tin foil and bake at 425 degrees for about an hour. And be careful because at this point, this dish is super heavy. And here's what it looks like when it's done. Oh my God, this was so good. And don't forget to garnish with your lemons and your cilantro because the cilantro is what makes it so good. For this recipe, you're going to need two packs of kielbasa. I use turkey kielbasa. You're gonna need some baby carrots. I used a whole head of cabbage, one onion, salt and pepper to taste, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two large bay leaves, a bag of little baby potatoes, I think this is about a pound and a half, and some chicken broth. We're gonna start by cutting our potatoes in half and adding them to the crock pot. And then we're gonna slice our kielbasa into one inch pieces and add that to the crock pot. Cut your onion into large pieces and then add that to the crock pot as well. Add a couple handfuls of carrots. We're gonna add a quarter cup of brown sugar, two large bay leaves, and about two cups of chicken broth. I'm going to cut my cabbage and then I'm going to add the cabbage on top so that it's cooking not in the liquid so it won't get too soggy. And our final step is to add a little bit of salt and pepper on top to taste and then we're going to cover it and cook it for six hours on high. Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you liked what you saw. Let me know in the comments if you made anything that I've cooked today. Also let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see me cook and I will try to find that recipe for you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, share with your friends. Your support means so much. Again, thanks for joining me and take care until next time. Bye.